here in Hudson County, Texas, the good news is they have built the border fence. The bad news is it's in the wrong place. The border fence? January 23rd, 2006, Mexican military vehicles crossed the river here. We had a pursuit that uh, started out at about the 84. Uh, it's doing it continued on to uh, right where we're at here at the levee. Notice a Mexican Humvee, and I know I know these vehicles. And Civilian Humvee? No, no, it's a, it's a Humvee, military military Humvee. There were two uh, two military dressed uniformed men in the Humvee. One was driving the vehicle, and the other was uh, mounted on a um, 50 cal of the Humvee. Do you have any military experience? Yes, sir. I've, I've used the I used the 50 cal. You used it, okay. The Toyota Full Runner was already in the in the river, and it was right over there, parked. Once the expedition came through, it tried to go up that bank right there, and it got bellied up. I mean, they were dressing all all of drab with fatigues. They all just fanned out, you know, east and west. They deployed. And they deployed, and once they deployed, I lost track of them. I know we could see one in a foliage over here back this way. I know I saw one of the civilian guys go over there and made him take his cap off. For purposes, I believe it's for the insignia, because the insignia, you know. I know we're in, the, we're in West Texas and uh, forgotten down here, but you know, we do have a lot of trouble down here. So if Mexican military vehicles want to come through here again, that fence that's 500 yards away might not stop them. Yeah, it's not gonna stop them. This is the border fence along the Rio Grande. This is the path that goes across the Rio Grande into Mexico. If you follow this path on the American side, it goes right here to the fence, and in the middle of the fence is a gap. In the last mile and a half, two, three miles, there's three or four such gaps just like that. Why is there a gap right here? That's so they can stick their forklifts in there and pick it up. And if you'll notice, these are just sleeved in here. There's a D6 caterpillar fill in that Neely's Crossing over here. We dig it out and they, within 48 hours they'd fill it back in. They're going to be, they're just like we plan on moving it during floods, when they decide to flood us with drugs or whatever else they're going to move in, they're going to move it out of the way as well. So you've got a history of the cartel guys using the bulldozer yeah. to cross the river. Right. So it's not a far jump. They could use that same bulldozer not just to build the dike across the river, but to move this. Right. People that sleep better at night because of the border fence. Sleep good. Sleep real good.